Good morning, ladies and gents, and all those who pay the rent. It's time for another Friday FinTech Roundup. I'm Alan Taylor with Tailored Content, your faithful host. According to Blockchain News, institutional investments have spilled into the crypto space over the last week to the tune of $429 million. Grayscale Investments accounts for $336.3 million of that. While the COVID-19 pandemic has had a devastating impact on many business sectors, one area where it has been a boom is in online payments. The leader in that space is Chinese company by the name of Alipay. As of today, Alipay has 1.3 billion users worldwide. Payments company Stripe is launching a banking as a service API called Stripe Treasury. Some of the largest banks, such as Goldman Sachs, Barclays, Citibank, and Evolve Bank and Trust are partnering with Stripe on its new offering to provide online banking services. Sinkterra has raised $12.4 million in seed funding. The company's aiming to connect community banks with fintech companies. Revolut is rolling out a new solution that will allow small businesses to accept credit cards, undercutting Stripe on its fees. 7-Eleven is launching a mobile wallet that customers can use for in-store purchases and the chain's gas station. Forbes is predicting that 2021 will be the year of FinTech as a service, and I think they might be right. Popular P2P payments network Zelle is offering electronic greeting cards. Happy holidays. Finally, Coinbase is airdropping Spark the native token of the Flare network to anyone holding XRP in their account on December 12th. Tokens will be distributed at a later date after the Flare network launch. So you heard it here first. Now there's your FinTech news for this week. Got an announcement? Send it to me at Allen, A-L-L-E-N, at tailoredcontent.com. And don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. See you next week.